it's the making of it, you know, the, the fact that we had to do it back to back in both languages. You've got to make the Welsh language sing as well, so, you know, certain Welsh language is really good when it's, when it, um, when it doesn't uh, get involved with police procedural, because that language isn't, isn't, you know, we've grown up watching cop shows in English and in America. So instead of trying to invent a new language with police procedural, we decided to keep the police procedural as low as possible and get out into the hinterland. You know, they look more like Canadian vets than they do cops. Richard, who plays Matthias, was thrown. And he said, where's my suit, where's my tie? Well, you can have a tie, but the rest of it is kind of boots and get out there, you know, in all weathers. So making sure that the, um, that the where we set it, you know, makes it believable in the Welsh language as well as making it sing in English. Arwen! Rita! Rita! Personally, I write in English and then adapt it, and then Carol Lewis, uh, who's a novelist, does the Welsh adaptation in that context. But um, everybody's different. Um, you kind of write the story, find out the story, build the story, get the bullets, make the story work over 90 minutes. And then, um, and then you know, if, you, if your first language is Welsh, some people would choose to write it all out. But I mean, in a way, when you've got three or four films and, you, and they're part of a series and it's got some character arcs as well as stories of the week, a lot of it is in the planning and that's a lot of bulleting as much as um, kind of inspiration, you know. Then, you know, you, you don't only have to go, you don't have to go big and wide in terms of the expansive story but you can go deep into the characters and talk about characters you really like to me they're like westerns you know it's like i'm a big fan of sam shepherd stuff and um you know i wrote years ago when i was young i wrote uh, a play called house of america which is all about jack kerouac <laughs> and a bloke who thinks he's jack kerouac and in a way i've never grown out of that that sense of you know i come from a place with lots of space uh, from Tower, you know, you go that way to Brecon, this way to the Neath Valley, and bits of it always reminded me of of my own little Midwest. So Hinterland is maybe just the same obsession told in a in a different way, but it has to be kind of I don't know timeless or mythic. You know, there are no contemporary references in Hinterland. You know, I mean, there's no there's no recession, there's no you know, there's no references to any politicians. We never see any uh, shopping malls. You know, it's just kind of the landscape, and then the sea, and a bit of the town. And that town, you never see any branding anywhere. It's kind of um, it should exist in its own little, in its own world to tell us kind of stories you want to tell.